Hey guys, Lunar here, and welcome to Building Belterra episode 9. Um, today's episode, I will be building a new train station. If you remember what the city looked like here, I used to have a giant building here, a giant tent. This building was part of the other building. It was like a giant 3D hashtag kind of sign, based on a real building. But I uh, spent all day destroying it, and now I've started building a new train station. I'm not too happy on the train station as it is right now. I like this bottom half, but the top half I'm not too sure on. And once I've built the train station, it means I can move these two pyramids over there and there. And I can get rid of the current train station, which isn't nothing special. It's actually the train station from my old city, which I built like before Creative even came out years ago. So I can destroy that and I can expand the road, which is there, right through and join onto this one. Which will open up this whole area, which will be better. And then I have to get rid of this part here with the ferris wheel, and I'm going to build a road and a bridge going across to the other side of the map right here so yeah that's my expansion plans for my say currently um the train station is fairly simple i just uh got f glass block and light gray wool dark gray wool and glowstone cobblestone wall, just five in a row of glass, which was one, two, three, four, five, six high, I think, yeah. And then one in front and done one, two, three, four, five, and then just continued that pattern all the way around, like so, oh, five, two, three, four, five. And then just in the middle block for every five, I placed dark grey and then alternative blocks with glowstone. Yeah, that's the name of it. And then dark grey and then glowstone, then dark grey and just continue the pattern. And then for the middle block, well, this is actually... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I said six. Six high. So the two middle blocks, which would be like that, I placed the cobblestone wall. And I'd done that all the way around. And then for all the corners, it's very simple. Just here's your five blocks here. It would be two, one, and then two, then your five again. So that's what every corner is like. And then I've just replaced all the corners with glowstone, I think, like that. I think conveniently they all worked out as glowstone in between. Yeah, so the top half, I'm not too sure if I like it or not. I think I might add on like another roof that kind of extends over the edge here. So it would be like a, a wavy kind of pattern going right along and up and down. So I'll just kind of make one. Let's see. I mean, yeah, that looks good. One, two, three. I'll make an extra one. One, two, three, four. And then three. And then two, and then one, and just continue this power. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, like that, going across the roof. And I would also make it kind of like going, arching up and down at the same time, or try anyway. 
so instead of it being like flat like this, it will go like that. One, two, three, and then one, two, and then one, like this. And then it'll be one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it'll be like waving up and down. I'll make a better version. Maybe make that like that. Yeah, I think I like that. And I'd fill it in with. I'd either leave it dark grey or fill it in with. Ice block, maybe. I like quite like the ice block. Let's we'll see what this looks like. It lets in the uh, sunlight better, if, I guess, if it's ice block. Be something like this for the roof. Try not to get too close to glowstone. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna repeat this pattern all the way along. Uh, we'll just see what this looks like quickly. Oh, that's gonna melt in a second. I'll just cover that up. Uh, yeah, I quite like that. Uh, it doesn't look good right now, but I'm definitely gonna make it better. I'll replace all this glowstone so I can add it on. And all I've done for the top was pretty much just the same for the bottom. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six high. Or, or yeah, six high. And made the glass all the way along. And then took red and cyan wool and just made a, a pattern going up and down. Mm, cyan red. Just like that. And I made sure that the bottom part was in line with all the dark grey wool pillars here. And before every corner, I'm gonna put this white wool kind of a uh, column. And yeah, I think that's gonna be what the train station is gonna look like. It doesn't look too good right now, but it will once they're finished. I've added in all of the uh, the path and trees, and I'm gonna add some. I can't really add any train things inside yet because I I haven't got any rail going through my city currently. But hopefully in the future, I'd like to be able to have all of my trains in the city underground. Because currently I can only dig down three. Oh, there's a space under here. I can only dig down three, so all my trains have to be above ground. But I'd like to have an underground, and then once I can build like another city, because that's what I'm hoping to build, I'll uh, have above ground trains going through like the countryside. So yeah. Alright guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I'm going to continue on building this train station. Hopefully it'll be finished at the, the start of the next Building Bell Terra. So uh, yeah, if you like this video series, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.